Hey everyone! So this game might seem a little bit strange to people. People might be wondering what the fuck is going on. Um, this is Rayman 2 and the reason I'm playing this game is, well, if you're around on my streams, <coughs> Mr. Sketchhead, twitch.tv slash Mr. Sketchhead, you'd know that I've been talking about this game for quite a while. Uh, in fact, there's several... That's Mrs. I just put Miss. Whatever, it's Mr. S. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I've been speaking about this game for a long time. Uh, this is my defining childhood game. Uh, this and Need for Speed 2 probably. But more than any other game, Rayman 2 is, again, like the definitive game I remember playing from my childhood. I don't know how I ended up getting this game, but we had this like old ass PC and Rayman 2 was the game I had, the main game I had, and I just played this game non-stop. It's a platformer made by Ubisoft, back when Ubisoft wasn't a shitty company. Um, yeah, they put out some great games. In fact, you know, the new Raymans are good as well, but... Yeah, this one is the supreme Chad version of uh, Rayman. And this is the chattiest version of the Rayman games, because this game had like a ton of versions, uh, each of them being slightly different. But the PC version, which is I think identical to the Dreamcast versions, were the best ones. So yeah, Rayman 2, if you want to know what happened, there's robot pirates. Um, and they broke the core of the world, which scattered. We're Rayman, we gotta put it back together, beat the pirates. Listen, who plays this game for the story? Th this game is just charming as hell, that's the thing about it. Uh, it's a little bit different from many other platformers. Uh, it has like a certain aesthetic to it. But maybe, again, listen, I'm gonna be praising the shit out of this game. And uh, a lot of it probably will be nostalgia blindness, but doesn't matter. Here I'm proud to be biased as fuck. I'm a biased little bitch when it comes to this game. Uh, because it's my game, you know. And you know, I found it fitting to play this game for the channel because I wanted to play a little bit, something a little bit different to the Soul series. Um, by the way, I love the voice acting in this game. Some versions of this game have actual voice acting, but that's shitty. Don't buy those versions. When they speak gibberish, that's, that's the one. That's the one. The gibberish versions. I mean, look at this guy. Like, this guy, when he's voiced, it just sounds weird. Uh, when Globox is voiced. And Rayman too, like... Yeah, this must be weird as hell to record when you have to just like say gibberish in like a recording booth. So yeah, again, I wanted to play something a little bit different to Souls. And you know, I played MDK2 a couple of years back, which is also like a big childhood favorite of mine. It's a game I played a lot later than this. But yeah, let's get started here. I gotta figure out the controls, okay. We gotta remap the controls, alright. Watch me do this. Um, please tell me there's a way to remap the controls there. Oh, oh shit. How do you jump? Oh fuck. Okay. Okay, it's A. A jump. Oh, we are going old school here because this game... Listen. I think that's how I played this game, OG as well. Yeah. So we're making our escape, holy shit. This is a lot faster than I remembered, probably because of the frame rate. Uh, this game definitely didn't run 60 FPS when I originally played it. But yeah, it looks like there's no way to remap the controls, which might be a slight problem. Yeah, this ain't Dark Souls 2, fall damage is non-existent. If I cannot remap the controls, we are going old school. I remember playing this control scheme and it's a little bit uncomfortable, 
but listen, we'll make it work. And the other thing about this game is that this game is super quick. Um, it's gonna take us a couple of episodes, seven maybe, seven, eight episodes at max. Um, uh, but that's how it is. So, you know, listen, if you've played a platformer, you know how this game works. Jump, you can fly with Rayman. Um, all that good shit, you know. There's a fucking cage somewhere. So the main thing about this game, uh, you have two types of collectibles. Lums and you have the cages. And you have this annoying creepy ass fly. I always thought this guy was cre creepy. Uh, first of all, he only whispers. And he has that smile on his face. Yeah. Bad touch. Bad touch feeling. Luckily, he only shows up like four times in the game. Cool. Yeah. Creepy. Don't fly towards me. Um, yeah. Anyways, let's get going here. This is the tutorial stage. Yeah, you have these cages, and that's one of the collectibles, and that yellow lamb is the other one. A thousand of them. Literally a thousand. Um, cages, I don't know how many cages there are. Listen, I'm gonna be going through this kind of quickly, because I know what's up, but again, Hold J, okay. Oh shit. Oh yeah, you can see how much you're missing. Listen, I don't think I've ever managed to 100% this game. I'll try for it. Okay, 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 that's good. You can rotate the camera. Man, these are some weird controls. Um, this is gonna take some getting used to, but... We'll get around to it. Honestly, I never played this game with a controller. Uh, well, no, I did because I owned multiple copies of this game. Honestly, uh, I owned, the, of course, the OG PC version, but I also had the PS2 version, which was bad. Uh, it was kind of like a remake, and. Tiny glow box. And this game, like, how can you hate this game? Now, again, the new Raymans are good as well, but... Nothing comes close to this. This no-limb-hemming motherfucker. What is he, anyways? I think nobody knows, right? Not that it matters, you know. Anyways, things are gonna get... I swear things are gonna get more interesting. Uh, once we get through this stage. Uh, this is... The tutorial. I cannot even, cannot even pronounce tutorial. Uh, so it, they give you just a freebie. I mean, this stage is easy as hell. But you got these wall mechanics and... All that other good stuff. Now these guys are way more interesting than that creepy ass fly these dudes were my favorite honestly so yeah that's their gimmick that they don't know who the king is so they just keep switching it's so good to be playing this game uh the last time i played this game was like Probably like 2014, 2013, 2014, because it came out on the 3DS, and I got the 3DS version, which actually wasn't that good. It was busted in many areas. Um, <laughs> man, this is bringing back memories. I'm gonna be talking on a lot of stories here, because this is reminding me of shit. Fairy Glade. 
<clears throat> this is the hall of the listen the hall of doors is what makes this game so good it's kind of the level select overworld and it has so much like charm and detail to it and in the PlayStation 2 version they got rid of it and they created like an actual interconnected overworld and it just doesn't work it just doesn't work you know but yeah the 3DS version is just bad um, it, it's actually glitched the 3DS version it's impossible to 100% the game because we'll get to that section listen I'm not a, I'm not exactly spoiling a lot in this game, am I? But there's a section later where you can get a secret lum and it freezes uh, in the 3DS version. Yeah, and this is what this is what makes this game so good. This overworld, I love this overworld um, because it just gives you enough of an idea of what the area will be that it kind of piques your interest this this level this is a great introduction level you'll see uh, when we go through this place the fairy glade um, it does so much right uh, in like introducing the mechanics it's actually a fairly complicated level um, and it again it introduces a lot of stuff before we go there we are going to okay ZNA yeah there's there's swimming of course there's swimming so yeah I'll try to you know am I a game designer hell no but I'll talk about what I think this game does right. I swear there's like a cave area. There it is. Yeah, you have these like oxygen, oxygen lums. Because, yep, there's a, there's a cage down here. And the weird thing is, this level is actually, the real secret shit is that you cannot actually 100% this level right now because it has a secret area and you can only come back to it from a later level which is pretty crazy so anyways I think hold on a second because I don't remember one thing no 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 we can't go up there yet cool and of course listen what I was talking about earlier like I was horrible at this game. I thought this was like the hardest shit when I was five years old. Um, probably to my little five-year-old brain, it actually was. One thing I'll also be talking about a lot in this game is the music. Um, they actually do it very well that there is a consistent melody. This one. Yeah, that melody you heard there, it it is actually integrated in some way to basically every single one of the tracks in the game, which is pretty cool. It's a cool idea, you know. Anyways, cage. This cage is always weird to hit. Okay, I think, I think, I think, I think I got everything. Um... I'm gonna be very paranoid about missing shit because people are probably gonna roast me uh, if anybody will actually watch this series. Um, hey bro, we can't even 100% the kids game? Well, listen, it's not that easy. Oh yeah, the water slide. Introduce the mechanic, you know? Yeah. How do you turn the camera the other way? I gotta figure that out. Whatever. So as you can see, the pirates, they're evil. They're doing bad shit, poisoning. Poisoning the environment. 
It's not Gucci at all. Anyways. Gonna come down here and we ride this barrel because it leads to either a lum or a cage. You don't have to do this. No, it leads to a lum. Do a little ride around. Oh fuck. <laughs> this is gonna mess me up. Like, for some reason, my instinct is to jump with space. I think space is more of like a jumping button than A is. I, I would have preferred... I think I used to have this game. But the thing is, I swear you could remap the controls in this game. I'll, I'll have to check it. Because I remember having it mapped to C and X. Which kind of like makes sense. They're nice and close together. Instead of having to use the thumb for anything. Um, whatever. That's supposed to be... There they are. First enemy of the game. This weird worm thingy. Whatever. Those things, I love those things when I was a kid. So anyways, yeah. It's nice to take a little bit of a break from Souls. Uh, I'm playing Souls on Twitch anyways, which... By the way, that's the area, right? I think that's the cage you have to come back to for later from the other area. Which, by the way, again, I'm playing Dark Souls 2. Which actually, you know, is getting like weirdly low views uh, compared to some of my other Twitch streams. Um, it's not like a complaint or anything. I'm just, you know, noticing a pattern that it's kind of weird. People ask for Dark Souls 2 quite a bit. And it like almost always gets the lowest viewership. There he is. First boy, robot pirate. You can actually kill this one. Um, it's like a little simple puzzle. You gotta get him to throw the exploding barrel. And what's over here? I don't remember this. Hold up. Fuck, how do you turn the... You gotta figure out how to turn the camera the other way. Oh fuck, told you. There's a cage here somewhere as well. Yeah, I mean, the thing that's a theme in all of these 90s games is that the camera can exactly be called cooperative. Um, it's not the worst. Oh yeah, and these things, they increase your HP. I remember correctly. Okay, so there's one. Oh fuck! Don't fall off. And that's the one you cannot get to. That cage, I think. I don't know. I'm probably gonna say like you can't get to half of the cages in this fucking game, but you can. All right. Let me just check one more thing out. What happens if? Okay, that's the end of the ladder. Cool. I genuinely don't remember this section. It's all good. Shows you what kind of surprises games can hide. Anyways, peace out, pirate. He's still throwing shit at me. So I... I whoops. Did I miss out on that? I think that disappears, right? If you screw up, no redos, bitch. Anyways, like, listen, this game ain't exactly, this game ain't exactly fucking Sekiro, is it? So, like, not exactly gonna be stressing over it. And that's some funky music.
Lots of pirates in the area. Yep. Press control. Oh, it's control. God, what a weird control scheme. Right? God, you have to like twist your arm. Yeah, we might just like freestyle it. But yeah. Anyways, it's, it's rare that you have to fight more than one of these guys. Usually most encounters in this game are one on one. Kind of just like strafe each other. Listen, it's a kid's game. Like, what do you expect? And he's dead. He dead as fuck. That's the one you can't break. Oh man, I wish I had charged shots right about now. And there's like different colorations of these guys. Uh, some of them get like pretty strong in the end. Alright. And then you have like these types of mechanics. Uh, you can carry explosive barrels. And then there's like little, little puzzles with it. Yeah, you can throw it up. That plays a role later on. Again, but you know, you can see kind of how slowly... Oh, that's that cage. Now it makes sense. You can kind of see how the game is slowly building up all the mechanics. Like, this stage... I mean, the first stage introduced the basics. And this stage actually introduces quite a bit. But you'll see later, there's a section where it'll kind of like all come together. Um, and that's the cool part, you know. Where it's like, hey, we taught you all of this shit, now put it together, kid. And this kid put it together. Mostly. There was some things I didn't put together, but I don't mention that. Thanks, camera. This is what I'm talking about, again. Classic 90s game syndrome. With the camera, but it's like, whatever. God, this, this level is shorter than I remember it. Uh, because we're pretty far along, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Fairly far along. Okay, so here it is. That's who we gotta rescue. I just jumped into the electricity. And you'll see in a bit. There's like a reactor or whatever. Further down the line. And basically... Here's where it all comes together. Music is gonna shift. You see, it teaches you to throw it up. And what happens is these bombs come and you gotta do a little little maneuver, you know. Three times, of course, because this is a kid's game. Everything's gotta be in groups of threes. Thanks for picking it up. This music is cool. It's cool as shit. It's kind of like the mysterious pirate music or whatever. See, I got hit there. Not that... It oh! What a fucking... What a fucking cheat. Alright, I see how you're playing game. Listen, if I die at any point in this game, uh, that's gonna be... It's gonna be more embarrassing than... That time I definitely didn't die to Moonlight Butterfly in Dark Souls. Because, I mean, this is a straight-up kids game. Listen! Again, it's been a long time since I've played this, but... There's some parts later on that are kind of... Kind of challenging. She's weird as, as well. I always found her weird. Like, way too human for this world, you know? Like, w way too humanoid. I mean, there was a good chance for that. Of course she is. 
Oh, did I ever talk about Rayman 1? So obviously this is Rayman 2, <clears throat> but this is by far, I think, the uh, the most well-known Polocus. Now that, that's some nightmare fuel. Polocus is fucking... This is uh, like some Courage the Cowardly Dog shit. We'll get to him. But, um... What was I talking about? I completely lost my train of thought. Whatever. I'll remember it. Oh, Rayman 1. So this is by far the most well-known Rayman, but there is a Rayman 1. That game... Now that game is Sekiro level. Uh, seriously. That game is insane. Literally insane. Uh, I played it after I've played this game and I found this game hard and Rayman 1 was just like... Whew. Again, Ninja Gaiden for my like seven-year-old self. Yeah, he says his name every time he gets a power-up. Of course she just teleports out, which she definitely couldn't do from the cage. Cool. Now we got like fucking Hadoukens. Yeah. We got the Hadoken uh, instead of the little silver thingy. Yeah, now we can swing. Cool. Actually, there's still a lot of the stage left. Now that I think about it. Oh, this is a cool part. So most of the silver lums that I would say are challenging to get are these ones. These flying ones. Because if you like drop down, you know, and you miss one, you basically gotta off yourself and try it again. I don't think I missed any. Come on, come to Papa. There we go. How many cages do I have left? I think I should be able to get all the cages. Maybe except for the one you need to come back for. Yeah, because this is... Okay, the tornado. Man, this fly thing appears a lot more than I remember. Yeah, yeah. There's something with the... Lums here. Oh yeah, you gotta like drop down. I remember. But yeah, I know for a fact that this stage is um, impossible to 100% the first go. That's a cool moment, you know, when you like return. Uh, I think we gotta go to that one to pick up a, a lum or two. Yup. Easy. And this is what I mean, listen, this this game ain't gonna take that long. But it's the experience that counts. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Um, I know it's a little bit different, but... You know, sometimes you just gotta play what you're feeling like playing. I think that's where I came from, didn't I? That tornado. Oh no, 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 we, we gotta go into that one. Right? I'm not being an idiot, am I? No, I'm not. There's a lum in there. Shit. Okay, I dropped a bit too far. But... The lum is what matters. So again, yeah, it's a little bit different to what I normally do, but... 
Sometimes you just gotta shake things up. Much as I like souls, occasionally you gotta let go of them. But again, twitch.tv slash Mr. Sketchhead if you do want to see me play Dark Souls 2. Never remember if this counts as... They do count as a cage, yeah. And what happens basically is you release one of these guys, do a little Russian dance, and that's the end of the level. That's stage two complete. Almost. Obviously it's not complete, but almost. And you gotta be... Yeah, of course. Bonus levels are asshole in this game too. <laughs> yes. Um, but I got roasted. Whatever. I'm gonna move on to stage two. In the next episode, The Marshes of Awakening. This is a fun one. This one is difficult to 100%, but... I think we'll manage. I think we'll manage. This is Rayman 2, episode 1. Um, let me know what you guys think of this game. I think some of you have played it. We discussed it on stream. But this is... I'm so happy to be playing this. Thanks for watching. And make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you're new here. I'll see all of you next time. Peace out.